welcome back. So, we were supposed to continue on the box ring, but until I get a new torch, that's not gonna happen. So now I gotta scramble and figure out what project I'd like to do. Um, I mean, I've got a few ideas, some of them probably require that better torch. So, I've got a few ideas. I had them while I was doing my live. So, I think tonight I'm going to try and redo my spike earrings. So, as you can see, I did spokes that go up into a point. Fairly simple fairly simple design. The one thing I didn't realize though is that once I put it in my ear cuz it can go in the ear. You know, it can it can go in. It's just um once it's in my skin wraps around each of these spokes and becomes uncomfortable to say the least. So, now I need to make a new set of earrings that will go in, will still do a spike, and will be a solid, or, you know, at least solid on the outside where the ear touches piece. So what I'm thinking, I already did a few measurements. I'm thinking of doing six millimeter of the, uh, the sheet silver that I have, six millimeters around. So that's what, 12 millimeter long, I guess. And then just have it thick enough where it will sit inside my, where the, the ear is, and then have spokes just like this going from the top. And then a little something extra just to throw in a little bit of a surprise and make it a little bit fancier, I think. So, I guess let's get started. So now that we have some measurements to go off of, um, I believe I'm going to do the casing, um, 12 millimeter, um, long, and of course the 60.6, 6 6.60 millimeters, um, around, which ends up being, uh, 19 millimeters long circumference wise so and then I think I'm going to do another 12 millimeters of um, of the spikes so I think that's what we're going to do and I believe let's uh let's start measuring stuff out how about that
let's make sure that it'll actually fit. So, these are basically done. I just need to solder them. And then, need to add on the tongs. And, um, and then one special thing um, that I'm adding uh, after basically it's all done so let's get started on soldering
All right, so we have these. The other one is in the pickle right now, um, but we have them both soldered and cleaned. I kind of did that off camera. So I think for right now, these are done. I played and pulled at the seam with pliers and cleaned it up and it seems to be holding uh, as is the other one um, so I think for this episode we are finished uh, next week I'm going to start putting these posts onto them um, so that they become spikes, and then I can put spikes in my ears. Yay! So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, of course I'm filming this part, um, Saturday night, so editing all day tomorrow, until 12 at least. Um, I hope you all liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and, uh, it lets me know what you guys enjoy. So hopefully we get a few uh, more likes and maybe a few comments even. But like I said, that is the end of this episode. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Are you sick of those big box jewelry stores pumping out cast and poured copies of the same exact piece? And the only purpose seems to be cramming as many diamonds onto them as humanly possible? I am too. That's why at Pendragon's Twisted Metals, I sit down with you and design a unique handcrafted piece. And best of all, you tell me what you want and I make it a reality. You can schedule an appointment with me through text, call, or on my website. All info is down in the description. And if you want to browse my pre-made inventory, just click on the website link.